Hey traders, Lance Pluto here. In today's video, I'm going to go over how you can scan the options market for the stocks you're looking at on your watch list here in TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. So first things first, um, the watch list is 100% customized to whatever watch list you like to look at. So for this example, I'm going to use my Friday Lottos watch list. Uh, this consists of you know your Facebook, Twitter, Baidu. Um, Gilead, Microsoft, Walmart, Google, eBay, Tesla, Starbucks, Amazon, Apple, Delta, um, Netflix, NVIDIA. So pretty much your large stocks. Uh, and if you want to set up a watch list just really quick, uh, you could just go to you create watch list and you can you know literally name a watch list here. Uh, say Lance's watch list. And then you can add ticker symbols however you want. Hit enter, go down. You know, such like that out there. Uh, and then you could customize your watch list right there. Um, but for this example, we're going to use my Friday Lotto watch list. And then I want you to go to the scan tab. And it's going to have stock hacker, option hacker, and then click on the option hacker. So then it will bring you to a study and it will say set up um, scan. Scan in all optionable and then intersect. This is where you insert that watch list. Now you can use your personal, you can use a public watch list. Um, you know, again, it gives you many, many names. If you want to do the S&P 500, you can do that as well. But that's what it's going to scan the data to uh, from your watch list there. So the next thing you're going to go to is add filter for options. Okay, add filter for options. And the first thing that I have set is volume. So you'll scroll down, find volume. Click on volume. Minimum, this is where it becomes, uh, you know, again, custom to you. I like minimum contracts, especially if you're tra trading names like, uh, you know, an Amazon, a Facebook, an Apple that trade, uh, you know, many, many option contracts a day. I set minimum to 500 and then your max, you know, obviously 200 million is a lot. You could set your max to, you know, let's say uh, 10,000 or something like that. Option type, I'm looking at calls for this example. If you want to look at bearish activity, obviously you could look at puts. Um, and then when you go to stock, um, you can click here stock minimum. Again, we really, you know, if you're trading very liquid stocks like Facebook, Apple, we can actually kind of just ignore that. Um, it just gives you stock, the amount of shares it's traded. You know, pretty much all these names have traded over 300,000 uh, contracts. Um, for or 300,000 uh, stock volume, I should say, per day. Uh, and then look at the option open interest. So click down, click on option, and then add filter for option, then open interest. I want to do new orders or um, new straight option orders. So my minimum on open interest is zero, and my maximum is 500. Um, therefore, let's say someone is closing options. So let's say there's 2,000 Facebook weekly calls uh, and they're closing 2,000 of them. Um, so open interest would be over 2,000 uh, contracts. That stuff I don't care about. So open interest, I did minimum zero, maximum 500 out there. Um, obviously, some of your names that trade very liquid options are going to have you know very high open interest too. So then hit the scan tab. So now it's going to bring me to uh, the scan from my watch list. So you see some Facebook, Baba, Facebook, uh, Microsoft, Tesla, Starbucks, Twitter, and such like that out there. So now what I want to do, okay? So now I have the names of the of the stocks on my watch list on my scan tab. I see Facebook. It just catches my eye right here. 35% gain and 68.5% gain on the September 13th. 182 and a half calls and the September 13th expiration 192 and a half calls. So now all I'm going to do is pull up Facebook. Uh, that's it. So now I'm going to go to my chart and pull up Facebook. I have a feeling it's going to be higher. Okay, it is higher. Facebook's higher by about two bucks today. Had a nice move, pulled back, and now it's you know going higher again. So with this information, what I can do is if I want to look at trading Facebook. A, it gives me an example of an option that has already moved, 
and these are new positions. It will actually give me the volume, 903 contracts here. It gives me the bid and the ask. It gives me the high, the low, the delta, uh, and then the option Greeks out there. What I can now do is I can A, look at the option here, uh, so the SEP 182.5 calls, or I could pick a different option depending on my time period to trade Facebook out there. And everything else on my watch list besides some Twitter at the bottom down here, um, and then some, eh, really just Twitter down here at the bottom, there's really nothing else catching my attention uh, on the day. So I know if I want to day trade stocks, uh, or swing trade even, for the day, I'm going to look at Facebook and possibly Twitter to trade. It just narrows down, uh, what am I looking at, how many names here on my watch list, maybe this is 20 or 30 names to literally two names to trade and focus on on that day. So this is the scan option hacker feature, ad filter for options intersecting with your watch list for TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim.